next we will specify the force um, from the regeneration channels and that's pulling apart the joint so if I go back to my PowerPoint okay so that's the second traction that uh, I listed on the PowerPoint second, second traction load and it's going to be applied you know over here so I go back to mechanical and zoom in here okay and I will highlight static structural and say loads force and first let's apply it to the um, the lower nozzle so I will select face and let me select that and then as I um, move around okay I can see that if I click over here I can see all the surfaces that intersect um, that particular view and so that's the one I want so I'll say apply and the force is again tabular and if I go to the tabular data it's um, not turned on in the first load step at the end of the second load step it's thousand pounds and then it stays on in the third load step And so this is the, you know, you can confirm that this is the force on the lower nozzle by, um, I'll say, hide all of the bodies, okay? And it's pulling, you know, it's pulling the joints together. So we need to reverse its direction. So under direction, I'll say click to change. And then if I click here, okay, it'll it'll give me the opposite direction and that's the right direction and let me rename this I will call it force underscore region underscore lower and if you're having trouble sometimes you know you have trouble changing the direction that's because the graph uh, I've noticed that you know you might be somewhere over here and then you won't see the the vector so you have to be you know somewhere over here when the load is turned on and then you'll see the vector okay so make sure that um, you can be over here at the end and it'll show you the full full force and then we need to do the corresponding force on the mid nozzle so I'll say show all bodies and I'll duplicate that and rename it. I'll call it force region mid. And I need to change the face. So I'll s click on that and then I will click that face and then cycle through here. And that's the, the right face and if I move here I can see it's that face you know attached to the um, the mid nozzle so I'll say apply um, so tabular data should have come in you can double check direction is again not correct it needs to be pulling the joint apart so I will say click to change and click here and say apply okay so if I highlight these two I see that they are pulling the joint apart. And that models the effect of those regeneration channels um, through these forces. Save the project. I'll say overwrite. And I'll say archive.